Welcome to Perspective TV, where ideas are shared, opinions expressed, and fact checked. I'm here once again with my pop. Um, we've done two series already, one of which included politics and the details related to politics here uh, in this country. The other topic we had discussed was relationships, how it relates and is different from generation to generation, um, what women's expectations and perceptions are, how women operate, um, and how we operate to a large extent. Well, now I'm pleased to present the next topic of our series of Talk With Pops, and this is called basically Ancient Egypt. Um, I'm excited to hold this discussion with my pop because I can see my pop a specialist in this field. And as you hear him speak, you'll know why. Um, but we're going to cover some details about Egypt, um, my pop's experience, and some questions that people may have with regards to Egypt. This may be a two-part type series, um, multi multiple part series, whereas after this first section here, there might be some other questions that are interest, of interest uh, that I'll pull pop back and ask him about that as well. So without any further delay, we're going to dive right into this discussion uh, with my pop on what's called ancient Egypt. I took the liberty of uh, pulling up some some articles um, just to get my dad's take on it uh, to uh, see if it sparks some memory into you know of him he can share with us. Um, and again, the purpose of this is just to enlighten and inform. Uh, it's going to inform me. Again, uh, be a refresher course for me and some things I might not have known, but I'm looking forward. To so, Pop, we are here for our Talk With Pop series, Ancient Africa, right? As they call it. Still Africa. I'm concerned. But, um, I looked up a definition and the definition of ancient Egypt, correction, but it's in Africa. Um, but the definition of ancient Egypt was, ancient Egypt was one of the oldest civilizations on earth. It is a country in, in North Africa, a civilization that thrived along the lower reaches of the Nile River. Um, I'm going to do a little ad hoc here as well. We just saw uh, uh, one of the recordings of Justice, uh, where the ambassador was there and doing a call, a call home, which explaining a lot of um, leaders in Africa, the uh, five states that I believe are in Africa, uh, come to have a united voice in the United Nations, just like the United States together and our voice and some other um, countries that she mentioned band together to have a united voice and how finally there's trying to do the same thing. Um, so that was very inspiring for me. So I want to leave off this discussion with just starting off with some general questions just to get your feedback on. Um, and that's basically it. Just let the conversation go from there. So, uh, first question for discussion, which I don't know, and I'm asking you, um, and I, I asked this question already, but I'm asked it, you know, formally, a formal interview, is when was Egypt founded? And you said you didn't know. No, I don't know the exact year or era that it was founded, but uh, it goes back quite a ways. Gotcha. Um, based on what I saw online and read, for our, for our information purposes, fact check that we say. You know, um, in short, Egypt's history status, it, it basically is from at C.8000 space BCE. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'll look that up later, but that's the number that they gave. The follow-up question to that was how old, like when was Egypt founded, but actually how old is ancient Egypt? And, and I read that off to you as well. And the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt as a single nation was in 3150 BC um, to its conquest by Alexander the Great in, 30, uh, in 332 BC. Mm -hmm. Egypt was the leading civilization in the Mediterranean. So that's reference information for us. I say, Monica, today. Me and you don't they fight it, don't they? Oh. I no go push you, man. I go change my ways. I go reduce the banana. I no go do it again. 